Hello, yes, is Kensington a shining example of multiculturalism and diversity here in Liverpool? To such an extent, the rest of Liverpool should follow suit. Who'd believe that? Well, let me just ask a few people. Joe Anderson, Derek Hatton, Ricky Tomlinson, children's author, Alan Gibbons and former communications union boss Billy Hayes, and I'll add another one to the equation. Uh, Peter Hooten, lead singer of The Farm. He's another one doing concerts for refugees. I don't know if that came off that, but whatever. Um, anyway, so I'll ask you lots as an example. It's nothing personal, right? Nothing personal. Do you really believe Kensington is a shining example of multiculturalism and diversity? To such an extent, the whole of Liverpool should follow suit. Would any of you be prepared to make a statement to that? that you believe that the social experiment in Kensington has been 100% success and the rest of Liverpool should follow suit. Well, you'd have to be insane if you believe that, wouldn't you? And you know it. You'd have to be literally insane. Or are any of you going to make a statement uh, that it's been a miserable failure and it's wrecked a once proud white working class community? Oh, oh no, no chance. You'll remain silent. See, Alan Gibbons, let me just take you as an example you're going over to Calais you know and sitting there talking to the refugees and whatever in a terrible plight and whatever have you been to the mothers yet of the little kids who uh were blown to bits at the Manchester Arena bombing have you been to their mothers yet holding their hands and you know showing your sympathy with these poor you know distraught uh mothers have you been to their homes oh no have you been to the homes of the uh 1,400 girls raped and abused in Rotherham by Muslim rape gangs. Oh, no, no chance. I mean, you're a classic, typical example of the self-hating white. You see, I'm a proud white man, and I like talking to proud black men, proud Chinese men, proud Asian men. I can't stand self-hating whites that are full of guilt. Why are you full of guilt? Because the TV has told you so, or you want to be liked, right? And believe it or not, there's not a racist bone in my body. I've got plenty of friends that are coloured black, Chinese, whatever. Plenty of friends. Trust me, I have. There's not a racist bone in my body. However, I believe that multiculturalism doesn't work. In fact, what it does, it just destroys communities like uh, we're seeing now in Kensington. A little bit of immigration is okay, like the Chinese immigration we had here um, to Britain 100 odd plus years ago. Who in the right mind would be against the Chinese community in Britain? You'd have to be in insane. Or here in Liverpool, that are hard-working, law-abiding community, the good people, that, in fact, that are a shining example how to live your life by, right? Who would be against the Chinese? No one, right? Who'd be against God-fearing Afro-Caribbeans? No one. Of course you wouldn't, right? But not too many of them. That's the problem, what's happened. It's not a case of hating anyone, right? It's a case of now... Seeing what's happening, Camp of the Saints, that book, read it, Christ, because it's happening, it's unfolding as I speak. So, out of all you lot, who would say Kensington is a shining example of multiculturalism and diversity here in Liverpool? Well, none of you will, probably Alan Gibbons will, because he's a self aging white. Maybe Billy Hayes, I don't know. Billy Hayes put a, uh, I, I'll leave it at the end of the video, but he put a, one of them. What are they? Little box, memes, or whatever. He put one of them up on his uh, Twitter saying, Immigration is good, but he lives in a 100% white nosley with his white partner. The hypocrisy of you people is breathtaking. If you love multiculturalism and diversity so much, go and get a bed sit on Shield Road, or even go one further. Go and move to one of the Islamic republics in Britain. In fact, go to Rotherham. <laughs> okay, thank you.